Hey, hey, welcome back. Uh, so in this video, I'm going to talk to you about those kit oils in a little more detail. Um, I just want to preface this whole thing by saying, as I may have mentioned earlier, the kit was designed to support every system in the body, pretty much. So there's going to be a wide variety of ways that you can use these things, either in conjunction with each other or just on their own which is really fun, playing mad scientist. So I'm just going to get right to it and start with lemon. And just for the record, I'm reading because I don't want to waste your time trying to remember everything because there's so many things. So don't fault me for cheating. So this is the lemon vitality. Um, any of the white labels means that they can be taken internally, which is a little bit confusing because some of them don't come with white labels, but you'll get the hang of it. So the lemon vitality, um, I absolutely love this oil. I use it pretty much every day. I just drop one or two drops in my clean canteen and then it just stays lemony all day. Um, lemon is known as a detoxifier so it really helps to just kind of keep you healthy and keep you feeling good throughout the day. Um, it also is amazing for removing grease. Uh, great for cleaning and also for taking off sticky things. So anytime I have a label that I need to take off of a, a bottle, I'll just use a little bit of lemon oil to get that, that goo that gets left behind and it just takes it right off. It's awesome. Um, also good for keeping fruit fresh. Fill a bowl of water, um, add your fruit with some lemon, soak, rinse and dry. Great for apples so they don't turn brown. Um, can be used as an air freshener, can be used in several different ways when cooking, obviously, lemon. You can make lemonade, you can add it to your smoothies, you can add it to salad dressings and marinades. You can make things like lemon glaze or flavored cream cheese. So really with any of these oils, any, any way that you would use the plant itself, you can just pop a drop of lemon and you're basically substituting for quite a large um, portion of the actual fruit. So there's lemon. Sorry, I'm going to move quickly. Peppermint. Oh my gosh, who doesn't love peppermint? I used to drink peppermint tea all the time when I was having an upset stomach, and now anytime I feel like I need that support, I'll just do a drop of peppermint oil either internally or mixed with a carrier oil right onto my tummy. It's great for working out, um, opens the airways. It's great for cooling down. So think about... Um, if you have a fever, you can add peppermint to the like to a washcloth and put it on the back of your neck. Or after sun, if you get sunburn, you can add peppermint and lavender, which is really good for skin. We'll get there. Um, to put those two together for an after sun cooling mist. Um, it's great for hormonal heat. If you're feeling like you're getting you know those nighttime heat sensations, you can throw a little peppermint in a spray bottle, spray yourself. Um, it's a study buddy because it's really good for kind of invigorating and waking up so great for concentration support um, also you can use this in smoothies obviously or um, Nicole if you're watching we love to put this in a batch of brownies for our peppermint brownies that we use in our events um, and you can add it to tea or coffee obviously and then one thing I love about peppermint is that it's great for weight loss there was a study done and 4,000 people lost weight just from smelling peppermint oil it tricks your brain into thinking that you're not hungry it, it triggers the satiety um, part of our brain, so that's why peppermint is part of the uh, weight loss trio that we love. Okay, next is the thieves. I think you guys are mostly, um, thieves is the oil that most people are familiar with when they talk about Young Living, and that's because it's amazing, um, amazing for immune support. I The second I feel like I'm coming down with something, I'll put a drop on the bottom of my feet or add it to some tea or hot water with lemon. Um, it's also great as a household spray, so anywhere, any surfaces that you want to kind of um, sanitize. And also, I use it as a, um, so this is my anti-germ spray. I use this not only as a surface spray, but also as a throat spray. So that's another way that you can use the Thieves is just put it in a glass of um, a spray bottle and use it for your sore throat. It's awesome. And then this is neat. It says support healthy gums. You add a drop to your toothpaste. I hadn't thought about doing that. And then, of course, in the kitchen, you can use it for, you know, in your tea, maybe a hot toddy, or an oatmeal cookie recipe. I love that. So this Thieves is, you can't live without that Thieves. It gets me through the winter. Um, this is Copaiba. It's kind of one that not a lot of people are familiar with. It's a, a relative of frankincense. It's a resin that um, comes from Brazil. And this has been used for centuries by the natives as a um, throat support. You put a drop of... Uh, Copaiba with some honey for a sore throat. Um, it's also amazing for sore muscles. So a lot of times we would combine this with the Panaway, which I'll get to. 
um, for, for muscle support, achy muscles, any kind of swelling. It's also great for respiratory conditions, supports skin, it's immunity booster, and one of the really, really cool things about Copaiba is that it's known as a magnifier, so if you add it to some other oil, it will increase that oil's efficacy. It's kind of like a buddy that says, hey, let me help you with whatever your job is. So you can mix this with almost anything and, and add to the benefit of the other thing that you're using. So that's the Copaiba. Um, I have a little more science about that, which I already covered in the science video. So hopefully you guys heard about that. And last but certainly not least is the Digize. And this guy does exactly what its name implies. It's all about digestive support. So if I'm in a pinch and feeling like I'm had too much to eat, like I did last night, <laughs> um, a drop of Digize under the tongue or in a little bit of water. It doesn't taste great, I'm not going to lie, so it's easy to just kind of shoot it down or if you have a veggie cap, you can put some in a capsule with a carrier, take it that way. Um, it's also great for constipation and they recommend when traveling abroad to add Digize to your routine because the oils in there also will kind of help counteract some negative effects that you might notice from eating or drinking the local food or water. Um, and another thing that I discovered this last summer was using it for seasickness. It really, really helped me to combat um, a seasickness that I felt coming on when I was on a sailboat. So if any of you have any kind of uh, motion sickness, this is also amazing for that. Just a drop behind each ear and it took it right away. So um, sorry, I've tried to be quick, but it just doesn't work all the time. So that is the first five. Those are the Vitality oils that come in the starter kit. And in the next video, I will cover the next six. All right, see you soon. Thanks.